Greetings. My name is Arisala Shobijit. I'm the representative of SIT IGO team. In this video, I'm going to talk about the projects that we did for Tamasat Open House 2019. Here is IGO, a robot sponsored by DTAC with the goals of adapting innovations to real life in order to enhance our living. With her capability, she was invited to join one of the biggest events in Tamasat University, Open House 2019. As we know, Tamasat University is now preparing itself for becoming the top place of innovation. Plus, the university has been supporting varieties of field, especially technology. With that being said, TU wanted to show what direction it is moving right now, so Tamasat contact us. In this open house, Igo has two roles. First, the MC in the opening ceremony, and the second is the information guide then as SIT books. The roles of Igo in opening ceremony was to be a co-MC, introducing and inviting all the boards of directors. Our task was to program her to move, speak, and express her emotion. At first, we wanted to program the robots to automatically move, but we decided to remotely control the robots because of the limitations of time and place. Our challenge is that we have one day before the events to set up the robots, and the environment like the unstable floor it is also the problems for the robots to move automatically. Even though we have access to controlling the robots from the package provided from the robots, the package is designed to use only on the robot interface, but not remotely. Plus, we only have a month on doing this project. So we needed to do some research on what is the best way to control a robot in the unusual environment. We chose to remotely control the robot by using Wi-Fi with 5 GHz frequency band because it is stable, accurate, and suit our situations where we are not far from the robots. Then we use a uh, RESPU APIs and socket IO to remotely give commands to the robot in real time. As a result, everything works well, there was no delays or error. Our next task is to use our robot at SIT Boots. And we came up with the ideas of I got the information guidance. Basically, I got will provide you uh, general information about SIT. For example, history, curriculum, admissions, facts, and campus. We also integrated a chatbot where people can talk or type and ask questions or just chatting. This can be adapted in the futures where common jobs like frequently asked questions can be answered by robot. Plus, we can train the chatbot to become so smart that it can answer the same level of questions that human can answer. This will reduce staff or employee burdens. Another important feature that we use is text-to-speech, to let Igo speak. So this makes people feel like they're talking to a real human. The main goal of using text-to-speech is to accommodate people with, dis with disability, especially blind people. And now, how does Igo improve SIT reputation? First, it shows that students can adapt what they learn from the classroom into their real-life situations. Second, it shows that SIIT can give an opportunity to students to try new innovations. Third, it provides opportunities for high school students to see what SIIT have and may take it into consider in order to choose their university in the future. Lastly, since TU Open House was a big event, IGO is a peer in many media. This makes people know more about SIIT. And this is the end of the presentation. Thank you.